All right, attempt four at making part four. We're going to rig our model up. You can use the default like blender rigs that come with blender and they're really great. You'll have to adapt either your model or the, the rig, uh, but we're just, we're just gonna make one from scratch. So let's add one bone. I'm gonna scale this down. I actually just move this. We're gonna call this root. This will control every single bone. And then I'm gonna make a bone for basically every object here. And I'm gonna name them. Uh, I'm gonna do capital letters and try to name things consistently. this parented and we want this parented to that I'm gonna do the neck I'm just using extrude and for the head we're actually going to need an eye as well because we set up the eye to be animatable and I'm gonna put a dot L for left, because this is the left eye. And make sure, since I duplicated that, I have to make sure that this is the parent, because we want the eye to follow the head, not the neck, which it would have done if I just duplicated. So same thing over here, duplicate, make sure we have the right parent. gonna name it this arm and this will be forearm okay now that we have half of this done we don't need to do the other half because we can just select everything that we have on the left side go up to armature and click on symmetrize so now we have this copy and there's a dot r on the end of the name instead of an l and that'll be useful for mirroring animations let's get these eyes adjusted a little okay so normally we would do weight painting, but we don't need to do that because we just have single objects that need to be uh, connected to single bones. So we're still going to have weight painting though. Um, ignore that. I had, I'm gonna delete all of these because I already did this video once. Okay, so let's select everything and then select our skeleton last. Hit control P and we want armature deform. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna select the head. And since we have this modifier, this armature deform applied, we can just go to vertex groups actually, add the name of our bone that we want. To control this object and uh, let's show everything I'm gonna select everything here um, yeah I'll, I'll just select everything and the sign so that if we go into weight paint mode has given 100% like weight painting to the head bone which allows us to control the head so for the eyes, what we can do is actually go back to object mode, select this, add a new bone for i.l. We'll just do the left one. And in here, I'm gonna hide this. Let's just select here, and I'm gonna remove the assignment from the head. And I'm gonna click this here. And 
assign this to the left bone. And then do the same for the right bone. So now we can control the eyes and the head. All right. Um, so now we can just go through and do all of the other bones. Just select everything, hit assign. So now when it comes to these mirror modified uh, objects, we have this mirror here and it's first. And that's important because we want the uh, mirror first. And then if we add our arm.l and we just assign, that won't give us what we want because now both of them are just controlled by this, this one arm. So all we have to do is add arm.l and blender, oops, arm.r, and blender already knows exactly what we're trying to do. And we have a mirror. So just have to go through and do all of these. Okay, now we should have everything rigged up. And one thing we can do is select everything except this root bone, and then use individual origins, and we can see everything is working. Ooh. So what can we do with this? Well, we can animate using the timeline. Uh, we can change the rota rotation and location of bones that aren't uh, con connected to other bones directly. And we can use this root bone. Let's say you have a walking animation and you set the position here and then you move over and you, you have a, a move animation. So we go we hit I and do location, move this, do location again. You can actually use that with a walk animation to control the movement for a game engine if you use uh, animation motion control, I think is what it's called in Unity. So that is the basics for rigging up a low poly character. If we did want to have like two, let's say we, we had a model that was more of a Mega Man Legends 2 style or just slightly more detailed, what we could actually do is let me disconnect this bone. Let's say we had a two part spine here and we still didn't want to mess with weight painting. Reconnect this. This is spine two now. All we have to do, go in here and let's let's select everything here. And we click remove. Spine two. And this works because we have really low poly characters. I think it might be point two. Let me double check the name of this. Spine, okay, that's how it's named, okay. Go back here, and we just assign that there, and that should let us control this torso differently, yeah. So now we have more control. And we don't have to go and do any weight painting because it's automatically uh, assigned for us. So this is gonna be where I've end the video. Uh, I was gonna add more onto this video, but I think I'm going to postpone those other parts so they'll be a little uh, more concise. And ne so next I'm looking to cover expressions. So changing the texture to animate that for the face and then we'll add like accessories onto the character 
and talk about adding and removing those um, in the case of animation. And um, yeah, so that's all for now. Uh, thank you for watching.